Hi guys! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Brina Noza from Team K, AKV48. Hi everyone, my name is Brina Hirata. I'm from Team K. AKB48 started in Akihabara as an idol group you can go and see anytime. Their CDs are always at the top of the hit charts, and they have currently released 14 million sellers in a row. They have become representatives of Japan's pop culture. Fuji TV and AKB48 have collaborated numerous times, from programs featuring AKB48 members to live broadcasts of AKB48's major events like their member election and John Ken competition. Fuji TV and AKB48 have a very deep relationship. In addition to the main AKB48 group, they also have sister groups overseas such as SNH48 in Shanghai and JKT48 in Jakarta. This time, we were able to interview these two members from AKB48. First, from AKB48's Team K and JKT48, Rena Nozawa. Um, I've been living overseas for a long time because of my father's job, and I've been living in Australia, um, Thailand, and Indonesia. And I think I've had a lot of different kinds of opportunities living in different countries, meeting a lot of new people, yeah, from different nationalities. Um, I can't choose because I would like to go everywhere if we can, but um, I used to live in Australia, so maybe Australia, and maybe like once we did a concert in Indonesia, so maybe Indonesia, Jakarta maybe, maybe a concert with JK248. <laughs> I hope that J-pop, the kind of J-pop, will everyone would like it, even though there's different kinds of music varieties in different countries. I have fun, so it's great. I don't feel the difficulty. I don't know, maybe because um, in Indonesia, there's not much idol. We were the first idol group that we said that we are idol groups, so there wasn't many chants in the other songs before, in the other kinds of music gen genres. Then they were like smiling and laughing and saying, oh, you're coming back. And I felt that the warmth was really nice and I really, yeah, I really felt how much yeah, how much can, the connection with the fans there. My first theater show here, that was a really big, it's like in my memory a lot. Um, it was my first time that I performed actually in the theater of AKB48. And for me, I was from JKT48, so I've been look, looking at all the videos in the theater here. And I finally got to stand on this this stage and it was really wonderful. I hope it could be like an artist like all the other artists that we see that come to different countries and play, do lives and then a lot of people come to watch us. I hope AKB48 can be a group like that. I like Kiseki Taiken Unbelievable. I watch it every time and it's really amazing and just last this week last week I watched it too and I always watch it I even like record it and watch it I really like those kinds of variety shows Next from AKB48's Team K Rina Hirata I've been in Arizona for a long time and then in Arizona I decided to do an audition for AKB48, and then that's how I'm in Japan right now. I would like to perform in Arizona, and I want all my friends to like come see the concert. I want them to see what I'm doing, so I would like to perform in Arizona. 
my favorite Japanese food? Hmm. What is it? Mm. I actually can't eat sushi. So like I'm not good with raw fish, actually. What else can I eat? I can eat rice. <laughs> rice. Goes with everything. Goes with everything. Yeah. Rice. Okay. Well, actually, my dream is to be an international singer and go to a lot of countries and sing for a lot of people and make them really happy. So I hope. I think so. I'm still better at speaking English. I still can't speak Japanese that well. I'm not even fluent, actually. Actually, she can do better in no. <laughs> Japanese than me. So I actually ask her, What's, what does this say or stuff? Writing is really hard. Yeah. American, it was so fun. <laughs> like, Japanese people, they, like, they go like this, but you know, it was so wild, you know? Like, <laughs> whoa, this is fun. It's kind of like really cool. I want the AKB48 group to be more international. I think that would be really fun for all the members, and they can actually try to learn how to speak English and all kinds of languages. I think that'd be fun. My favorite Fuji TV program is Mecha Mecha Iketeru. The reason is because actually the AKB48 members actually, you know, are on that show. So one day I want to be on that show too. So I hope you learned a little bit about AKB48 and see you soon. Bye. Bye. Presented by Fuji TV.